that's our foreign fathers. She didn't say much, she didn't do much, she didn't take part in our activities at all, uh, as far as uh, has been brought to my knowledge. Um, so we couldn't, uh, we could not foresee any of this. Uh, and when that said, uh, I mean, um, we've all now been faced with his manifest and uh, read some of, at least some extracts of, of what he has written. And he is actually condemning all political parties in Norway, mine included. Most countries have tightened their policy on immigration uh, and that has been quite okay. And it's still, I mean, all the problems or challenges that the Norwegian society faced before the uh, 22nd of July, they're still here. Uh, and we need to bring them back on the political scene. We need to bring them back, debating them, solving them. I think the political climate will change and that more or less all the mainstream parties, including the right-wing populist party, will become more moderate. Today two publishers have called me as well and they want me to write a book about this. Uh, yeah. I don't think too many people associate Breivik with FRP, even though he was a member. But, uh, but they all, the voters know what the, what the Progress Party has said before and I think that will be more difficult to say. And as I went with the Labour Party, um, it certainly helps the Labour Party right now, but the long-term effects also is difficult to say because the debate will get back to normal. We disagree about things uh, and we agree about things, but we never left, you know, the stage of dialogue. This is very important. I think this is the Norwegian model which has been successful, uh, which um, countries like France, Holland and Denmark should copy. Uh, so uh, the situation of Muslims has always been good uh, and uh, it will be, it will continue to be, to be good.